Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I came up with another video that is Doge Technology Group which is an on-campus placement which has occurred in Jan 2025. It is on software development role and the company is located in Haryana and it is for 13 LBA. Okay. Before going into the video, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe, share and like my videos. If already a subscriber, please hit a like so that it motivates me to do more and more videos for you. Right? Let us go into the video. Consider doing subscribe to my channel. Okay? Let us go in. Okay. Instructions to be followed. Install secure exam browser. It is mandatory. Okay. Without this, you cannot write the exam. It is an online based exam. Okay. You need to delete all social media apps and cookies. And exam is AI protected. So make sure you one is behind you. No one is behind you in the exam or else exam is being disabled and once you start the exam you cannot re-log in the exam no one can help you in this situation as it is absolutely correct because i have appeared for this exam see if you even blink your eye you are going to get an instruction that uh, some disturbance from your side please um, be in a good condition okay then you have to click continue then the and then you can answer the exam okay in that way the exam will be even the blinking of i can be detected okay so make sure you are uh, writing the exam in noise free environment and make sure no one is behind you okay and don't do any malpractices okay let us going into the video and i have already told you this video for software developer role okay you are good with instructions and we are uh, seeing the round one and round one lasts for 50 minutes it is slots based exam okay slots based exam there will be a slot one and slot two i have written exam in slot two okay F my friends written exam in slot one slot one is for uh, 10 30 okay slot one begins at 10 30 within 50 minutes your exam will be completed then uh, we have given our exam at uh, 11 50 like that okay in that way we have given uh, and within 50 minutes we to completed the exam okay this exam is uh, object oriented as well as blanks they will give blanks okay in first round pseudo codes on c plus plus and c yes the full uh, questions uh, all the questions 50 minutes exam is on pseudo codes only and the language is c plus plus and c and the negative marks are there or negative marks are for object two questions okay there it is a first round is mixture of object two questions as well as blanks no negative marks for the blanks if you are if you are answering any blank question then there are no negative marks but whereas if you are giving object to answers then uh, there are negative marks if the question is for two marks then minus one will be the negative mark okay minus one is the negative mark and it is an elimination round the one who doesn't met the criteria like uh, cut off they are eliminated from this round okay good working condition laptops along with high resolution webcam s yes. you have to make sure your webcam and your mic is on is in on okay it is capturing all the things behind you and your face and even the blink of the eye and it is also taking the input of noise background noise also okay before going into the exam you should check your uh, resolution okay system compatibility also should be checked okay lan connector is used or converter we have used the lan connector but we haven't used any wi-fi because it is unstable right so you better to use lan connector single jack head phone with mic and slots based exam as i have already told you it is based on two slots and the full exam is on pseudo codes only the language is c plus plus and c and negative marks are there so be sure while answering the questions okay if you don't know any answer please leave it and you can answer blank questions because there are no negative marks and it is an elimination round okay and if if the internet is not stable then you will be uh, kicked out of the exam okay few of my friends are suffered with this problem uh, until 15 minutes the 
uh, net supply was off so the exam ha was terminated okay so make sure you are uh, having good uh, connection wi-fi connection or lan connection better to have lan porter with you okay this is the round one the one who are uh, shortlisted here are eligible for the round two okay let us see the round two if you haven't subscribed till my channel please do subscribe to my channel okay i am going to provide many more informative videos for you and round two is logical aptitude they have given a questions on uh, logical aptitude reasoning and verbal and sectional timings are there like suppose if uh, you are given five minutes for the aptitude to do the aptitude questions within five minutes you are able to answer only two questions then that's all you cannot go back to the question okay it is sectional timings sectional timings are maintained you have to answer very well and you should be very thorough with the time management and you have also given you two coding questions okay they have given two coding questions and logical aptitude verbal reasoning everything they have given those are the choose the correct uh, okay so you have to choose object to based exam and coding is you have to type the code okay now we are we are going to see the questions which are asked it is also an elimination round the one who are shortlisted in round two are eligible for the round three see still now you haven't subscribed in my channel please do subscribe my channel okay now let us going into the questions which are asked those two questions coding questions which are asked okay and the coding question first coding question is you are given a single linked list of even length where each node contains an integer value your task is to find the maximum sum of pairs in the list where pairs are formed as follows the first node is paired with last node second node is paired with second to last node third node is paired with third to last node and so on sum of each pair is calculated and maximum pair sum is written a single linked list of even length containing integers that is the input and the output is integer representing the maximum pair sum when you see the examples you will get a better idea right so okay let us see the examples see your uh, first question this is the first question given in the round two okay what they have given is they have given a linked list of even length now what is the condition to add up the nodes are uh, first node and last node okay zero plus three is three okay again uh, first node plus that means uh, one node and last but one add up and it gives the three now you have to add like this and you have to return the maximum sum you have to return the maximum sum what is the maximum sum three is the maximum sum now again see the other example you have given five four two one three six now what what pairs you have to add up first one and last one five six and second one and last but one and this and this okay five plus six eleven four plus three seven two plus one is three the maximum sum is eleven you have to return that that is the question they have given the length of the linked list is always even the linked list contains at least two nodes no values can uh, node values can be positive negative or zero okay that is the thing if you want have a screenshot if you want the solution please put it in the comment section so that i will make sure doing and the video for you and if you know the answer please put it in the comment section so that you me and our friends will be knowing the answer okay let us see the end the question which is asked because they have given two coding questions right and logical aptitude okay sectional timings are maintained okay subscribe my channel okay and round two and the question shortest path length in a binary tree you are given a binary tree your task is to find the shortest length from root node to leaf node a leaf node is a node that has no children the length of path is the number of edges from the root to leaf this is the question and the question the root of the binary tree is the given as an input and an integer representing the shortest path length of the root to any leaf node see that is the output see when you see the examples you will get a clear idea you have given a binary tree like this uh, 1 2 3 4 5 like this you have given now you have to calculate the lengths 
from root node to leaf node 1 3 length is 1 2 1 2 4 is length is 2 and 1 2 5 is length is uh, 2 Who, what is the shortest length that is 1 you have to written that one okay this is the and the question coming to the round 2 these are the things i have discussed with you two coding questions stack sectional timings logical aptitude and elimination round i hope you got with this question see uh, maximum sum written the maximum sum and here least length okay least length you have to written going to see third round are you are you curious about the third round okay let us see third round is three coding questions and it is also an elimination round if you want three coding questions which you are asked please stay tuned i am going to make another video okay on three coding questions and if you want solutions for the round two please put it in the comment section i will make sure of doing a video okay thank you so much hit a like if you feel this video is informative and subscribe my channel please and please okay thank you